Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, it's your Philip, it's your brother Philip Ness Thomas coming at you. Um, I want to ask you guys a question. Um, this might seem strange. Some of you might get it. Some of you might not. But um, I want to ask you something about the Word of God and you know what He's doing in our lives. But I want to ask you something. Are, is is the Lord killing you softly with His song, with His Word? You know, is he, is he, you know, um, strumming uh, things that go on in your life that might cause you pain to bring you to himself? Um, I don't know, you know, God help me with the words to say this here, but you know, the Lord's really put on my heart recently um, an old song that I used to like when I was a kid. Um, actually, I ended up only knowing the, the uh, the remake, which was made by a, um, a rap group called Fuji's, the Fuji's, and uh, a beautiful singer named uh, Lauren Hill. And I mean beautiful as in voice first, um, but uh, you know, I just uh, I went and I listened to that song, and, and uh, you know, I debated whether I should even go there because. You know, I know God can use things of the world to speak, but when we get to a place um, of maturity in the in the Lord, um, we, unless led to, should not dabble in those things of the world to use them to declare God's glory. You know, we're supposed to be concentrated from the culture, but you know, I've said in other videos like I used the movie The Matrix and um, how God spoke that to me to draw me to himself, and, um, you know, there's a brother that you know, I was friends with till recently, and um, we parted ways, or he parted ways from with me, his name's Red Bones, and um, I know God's working in his life, but he decided to block me, and I was trying to encourage him on not um, using things of the world to and combining scripture with them, you know, because it's one thing to take something that you know somebody is attached to their heart or they see, you know, that they've seen like a movie or a, a song or something in the world and to show, um, you know, God prophesying through it in a sense. And then it's another thing to take the music itself and redo it with scripture and you know, this is something that I used to be very fond of doing, and I wanted to do this on a mass scale, and then God told me that he didn't want me to do that because it was unclean, you know, and it doesn't mean that God didn't speak through it, though, or can't speak through it, or open someone's eyes to the awesome way that God can prophetically speak through virtually anything to somebody, um, he can use the wicked things of this world, but he doesn't want us to be combining his holy character with those things. So I gingerly encouraged uh, my brother to, you know, look at it this way, and, and uh, he refused. So, um, you know, because I think really ultimately when we try to combine the culture, which is something that I was trying to do for years, and God just kept closing the doors on all the things I would try to do, um, he was really trying to show me that, you know, you can't pollute my holy character, my name, in some of these things that were created not for my glory. It doesn't mean that I can't and haven't spoken to people through that to bring them to a knowledge of me. But um, the origin and to combine my name with those things is is not purposefully, is not uh, my will. So anyways, getting back to, um, you know, the Lord really put on my heart about my wife and that, um, you know, I've had, he made me take a stand and, and be bold with her and tell her the truth, which is totally not my character. I don't like to um, have confrontation, but that's what he's kind of made me. And it's ventured into YouTube and being blunt and bold with people and you know some people don't really a lot of people the Christians don't really know that type of love of God especially in North America or the first world nations because we've become so apostate 
We won't receive correction or rebuke or chastisement or judgment from anybody. Um, you know, and, and it's uh, it's pretty scary because, you know, um, we could be walking off a cliff in some way, shape, or form, and at any moment our life's a vapor, we could die. And <coughs> if we don't, you know, harden, if we harden our heart to anybody saying anything to us that's other than encouraging words, um, it's uh, pretty dangerous to do that. But anyways, you know, I don't advocate anybody listening to this song itself. I'm not supporting it or telling people they should watch it. Um, I try to stay away from the imagery of the actual real song because it's leading people astray. But, um, you know, if you listen to the lyrics, you know, it, God was speaking to me about it and, and I actually sent uh, an email with some other videos and emails attached to it to my wife and I just shared with her, you know, that um, God was making me taking this sound boy and killing me with his sound, you know, God's sound that he's implanting in me and killing my old man and raising up the inc incorruptible, you know, through Christ in me, you know, and uh, making me immortal. And uh, he was calling me to do that to my one flesh that I married, you know, that he brought me into covenant relationship with. And uh, she mistakes it a lot of the time for hate and for, it's not godly, but the reality is, you know, um, truth hurts, and yet, if we receive the truth, the truth saves us. You know, the truth hurt for Christ to have to die for the weight of our sin, for God to have to do that, cut him, cut off his arm, like the Bible talks that Jesus is the right arm of the Lord, he, there's one, it's one God, one spirit. He cut himself off from himself for his children, and uh, you know he knows he knew what it was like to be killed softly. Yeah, I mean, we, we say softly, but we get the, we get to be killed softly in a sense because our affliction is but a light affliction compared to what the Lord suffered for us. So, anyways, just to kind of a uh, taking something that we all kind of have heard or seen in the world and. Um, Speaking with, you know, um, the eyes of the Lord, sharing with the eyes of the Lord what I see. And um, I also sent my wife an X-Men clip from Google um, that shows the scene where Wolverine, um, he loved Jean Grey. And um, he saw that she was um, out of control and that she needed, uh, you know, she even says in the clip that she says to him, save me, right? And she's trying. She's hurting him in the process as he's coming towards her, and and um, he realizes that to save her, he must kill her. You know, like with the sword. And, and you know, in the Old Testament, they would kill a heathen with the sword, literally. And in the New Covenant, we kill um, the old man, um, the sinful, carnal, fleshly man, with the word of the Lord, which is the sword of the Lord. You know, um, and uh, you know. That sword being plunged in kills, but um, it brings new life. It's not, uh, it's uh, quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, dividing asunder the soul, the carnal soul from the, from the Spirit of God, you know, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that God wants to plant in us, and His Spirit. And um, it pierces to the joints and the marrow, you know, very deep. And, um, you know, God knows the thoughts and intents of the heart when we speak the word. So I don't know if this makes any sense to any of you guys, but let me know what you think. Just uh, what goes on in my brain up here. You know, what God shows me in my heart. And to Red Bones, I just want, if you see this or whatever, I just want you to know that uh, I love you, bro. Um, you know, I was just sharing with you what God was showing me, and maybe you took it the wrong way or didn't see, you know, misinterpreted what I was saying, but, you know. God has really shown me that we can't defile His holy, His holy character and name in, in trying to combine Him in the culture. But, you know, it doesn't mean that we can't. And I agree with you that we, you know, we can use the things by His will and by His Spirit to show people and lead people to God. But, obviously, the Word of God is enough. So, that was my emphasis to you. So, grace and peace to all of you. Comment and let me know what you think. Bless you.